Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Freely subscribed to my channel. <laughs> Freely the banana girl, Freely the frugivore. I have been hoping that Freely would see one of my spoof videos and like maybe comment or something, but she subscribed to my channel. When I saw that notification, I was just like, Really, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you for watching my videos. I don't know which one you saw, probably Tea Time with Elise and Freely. This was one of my ways of helping to get your message out. And it's funny because somebody who is a fan of you and Elise got offended by that. And I, I just think that's kind of funny because I was doing this, you know, because I support Freely's message. And, and I understand, you know, I used to like Elise too. And after I made my I'm not vegan spoof video, I kind of felt a little guilty. Like maybe it wasn't so nice. And, and I got a lot of hate for that. And I was really attempting just to like, uh, to shine a mirror on the things that she was saying. Now, I did feel kind of bad and I actually took it down for a little while. Now, this person got offended for Elise and for Freely, even though obviously Freely wasn't offended by my video. Even after I did my first spoof video on Elise, Elise saw that video and she commented. She thought it was funny. She's like, this is great. And so, Actually, my respect for her like, went up a little notch. I mean, at least she was a good sport. And yeah, so I took that video down. But then, she did the carnivore challenge where she ate only animals for 30 days. And, oh, and I'm um, like, hell no, this is not okay. And so I just had to do another spoof. So I did my cadaver diet spoof of Elise. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's super funny, if I must say so myself. So I think we live in a time where people just get offended over everything and even offended for other people that may not themselves get offended by something. Some of this, I think, is actually part of the elite's social engineering to keep all of us divided. So while all of us are just bickering amongst ourselves, going nya 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 <laughs> They're even dividing up the rainbow people into their separate colors. And I don't mean to offend anybody by saying that. I feel like I should put a disclaimer at the beginning of every one of my videos. Just warning people, you're probably going to get offended. Even when I do give a disclaimer, people still get offended. And you don't have to watch. You can go watch some dad joke videos or something. What did the buffalo say to his son when he dropped him off at school? Bye, son. I mean, because what is comedy? If it doesn't, like, push anybody's buttons or if it's not controversial. Now, a lot of people like to get back at me for making such offensive videos by insulting my personal appearance. Okay, so I look like Elise's grandma? Is that all you got? I mean, I might be old enough to be her grandma, I don't know. Like, I haven't heard that one before. 
I mean, you can tell me I look like the Wicked Witch of the West. I don't care. As long as you're not hurting animals. Sticks and stones, you know. All I'm doing is defending the animals. If you want to get mad at me for that, you might as well be like, how dare you stick up for the animals? How dare you not support slavery? How dare you not support rape and murder and child abuse? Because all of these things take place in animal agriculture. It is easy to be vegan. The only hard part is knowing the suffering that is happening out there. Knowing that, that is hard, but, but it's nothing like what the animals are going through. So I'm just trying to bring a little laughter into the lives of my fellow vegans. But if you're one of those people that has no sense of humor, then woe unto thee. Woe. Woe unto thee. Hope that didn't offend anybody. So let's let go of this outrage culture and focus on what really matters. If you have a purpose in life and, and you have a cause that you believe in and you want to fight for, then go for it. Just go for it. But don't bring down people who are trying to do good in the world, defending the lives of other beings that are being violently murdered and is so beyond horrific. And I don't know how people's brains are just tuned out to this. I know it's cultural programming. And so it's not your fault. And it's not even your parents' fault. And so I tried to be understanding. And it's difficult. And so I have my way of dealing with this. And it is to try to bring humor, which is a great challenge. And so you can try to bring me down. You can try, you can try to bring me down. But it ain't gonna work, cause I am strong and I will stand by my beliefs. The animals need me. The earth needs me. Humanity needs me. I am here to serve the universe, to bring about a more peaceful planet, to have patience with people and understanding because I was there once too. But I have learned, my eyes have been open I have seen the light and I have seen the darkness. So won't you come join me? Join me in my endeavor to make the world a better place for all beings. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, and empathy. For that is my purpose in life, and I'm here to fulfill my purpose, for it is the rainbow time of day. <laughs>